Hey guys, welcome to Fred's Garage. It's a nice day out. Let's take the Bronco for a ride. That's not going to work. We're going to have to fix that. So I tell you what, follow me and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Alrighty, let's talk about side steps. When it comes to side steps, you basically have two options. You can do what they call running boards, which are basically made for you to get on and out of the vehicle. Like I showed you earlier, it makes it much easier to get in and out of the vehicle. The problem with running boards is that if you ever decide to go off-road, and running boards aren't really made to take any kind of serious hits, rocks or anything like that. So you'll end up bending the running boards. And when you bend the running boards, most likely you're going to bend something on the Bronco. So then you have option two, which are called rock sliders. Rock sliders are like the name sounds. You hit a rock, they help you slide over, they protect the bottom of the Bronco sill plate, what's called the sill plate, the piece underneath the door. The problem historically been with rock sliders is they're very thin, they're tucked up real tight, and you can't really... Step on them. You can't use them as a step. I mean, they sell aftermarket or, or hoops and stuff that you can bolt on, take off. That's a possibility. When it comes to these running boards, rock sliders, there's hundreds of different styles. And um, I've seen them from as low as $189 and all the way up to $2,000. So you pick whatever's in your budget, whatever style you think looks good on your Bronco. Just remember, it's your Bronco. You make it the way you want it. The Jeep people, they've been able to customize their Jeeps for years. And now the Bronco people, we're going to do the same thing. So every Bronco, customize it to your own liking. So after my research, I really wanted rock sliders. I want to go four-wheeling eventually, and I don't want to have to worry about running boards. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. But I needed a step. So I found one. That was basically a combination of both. A company called Rough Country. And these rock sliders, as you can see, they're rock sliders, but they actually also have enough sticking out for you to put your feet on. So they do both. They're a little higher than running boards would be, but they fit my purpose, and I really, really like the look. Now, I don't know if you saw the previous video of me painting my Bronco emblems, but I think my green looks good with this gold, so I dolled it up a little. I put a little plate behind here with the gold, and I also painted these metal grills in gold. So this is mine of choice. So this is mine of choice. Rough country. So with that being said, now this is mine of choice. The rough country rock sliders. So with that being said, let's get to putting them on. It's very easy. Take you about 45 minutes to an hour. They're extremely heavy though. So if you have help, use help. Or we can, I'll show you how I put them on with, by myself. So what do we need? All right, let's talk about installation and what we need to install them. So the rock rails, they're gonna come in a big box. <coughs> Excuse me, they're gonna come in a big box. And what's, you're also gonna get another box. And in that box, you're gonna get a whole bunch of brackets and nuts and stuff. So we're going to have three brackets. We're going to have the rear bracket. We're going to have the middle bracket. And we're going to have the front bracket. Okay? And these brackets are bolted onto the rock rail with some 13 millimeter nuts right through these four holes. It's very easy to do. Okay? Now let's talk brackets. <clears throat> the brackets are not the same. This is the rear bracket. And if you look at the rear bracket, it has this high hoop with a bolt hole right in the middle. Okay? These rear brackets are the same for both sides. You can use either one. It doesn't matter. So here's the rear bracket. The front bracket. The front bracket's much shorter. It has this angled piece of metal. The bolt hole's in the middle. Okay? Front bracket's the same. Left and right. Passenger and driver. Where they get different is the middle bracket. The middle bracket, if you look at it, has a high hoop, but the bolt hole is off-center. Okay, the bolt holes still facing one way. So the middle bracket for the driver's side, the bolt hole is going to face forward. And when you go on the passenger side and you get the other bracket, it'll be the mirror opposite of this and the bolt hole will face forward. Now, 
That's something you got to keep in mind because you don't want to bolt these all up and then realize you have the wrong bracket on the wrong rock rail. The other thing you have to really keep in mind is these rock rails come in a driver's side and a passenger side, a left and a right. So how can you tell? How can you tell? Unfortunately, they don't put a stick around here that says driver's side, passenger side. It would be, hey, rough country, it would be very easy for you to do that and it would help a lot of people out. But this is how you can tell. This is the middle bracket, okay? It's called the middle bracket, but it's not in the middle. It's offset about three inches, two, three inches further back, okay? So on either side, this is the driver's side, the middle bracket is gonna be the one, the middle bracket's gonna be offset two or three inches to the rear. On the passenger side, everything's the opposite. The middle bracket will be two or three inches offset to the rear. So that's how you know, okay? So what else comes in the box? You're gonna get three of these. These right here are what are called pinch weld brackets. You get three of these. And what these do is if you look at all the brackets, you'll see that there's holes right here on the side. And these will go through the pinch weld into these holes and help hold the rock rail. Now you say, what's the pinch weld? I'll show you when we go to install this in a few minutes, but the pinch weld basically is a, is a strip on the bottom of the door, all the way in the bottom, where, where Ford welds the panels together. Okay, a lot of people complain in their running board videos that you can see the pinch welds and they're not really pretty, they're not really made to be looked at. So these will go through there. Luckily for us, Ford has done a great job by having holes already pre-drilled in the pinch weld for the bracket. So we don't have to drill any holes, okay? So thank you very much, Ford, for doing that. What Ford has also done is they put what's called speed nuts in the bottom of the Bronco. So when you put your bolts through here, you don't need a nut. You don't need to worry about it. It's already there. It makes insulation so clean and so easy. You're also going to get nuts and bolts. And this is an example of what you're going to get. And if you look at this here, now you gotta double it because you're gonna have them from both sides. You're gonna have 13 millimeter bolts. There's 12 of them. They're gonna bolt the brackets to the rock rail. You're gonna have three 17 millimeter bolts. These are gonna bolt the three brackets to the body, okay? And then you have eight 10 millimeter bolts. The eight 10 millimeter bolts I have already put on here so I don't lose them. Those are for the pinch welds. And we're gonna need tools. So what are we going to need for tools? A ratchet. A five or six inch extension. You're going to need a 17 millimeter socket for the 17 millimeter bolts. You're going to need a 13 millimeter socket and you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Okay? And that's all you really need. I'm going to use two buckets. I'm going to show you why in a moment. I don't have anybody right now that can help me with this, so I'm going to do it myself. But all I can tell you is be very careful because these are very heavy and you don't want to get hurt, okay? You especially don't want to be underneath them when they, if they fall, okay? So let's show you how we put them on. All right, guys, we're back, and this is the setup on how to start putting them on, okay? This is the easiest thing I've found. <clears throat> so if you look here, you see if my helpers or two five-gallon ga pails. Everybody has five-gallon pails laying around. These came courtesy of Home Depot and Bear Paint. And I rest my running boards on top of those five-gallon paints. And you can see how they're just about right under the perfect spot for that, okay? This is a Sasquatch, so it's a little higher. You might need to use a smaller gallon paint bucket or whatever if you have a shorter, lower vehicle. Now let's talk about pinch welds. Let's see if you can see the pinch welds here. This piece right here, this metal piece sticks out about an inch, inch and a half is what's called a pinch weld. And that's what Ford uses to <clears throat> weld the outside to the inside panels. You can see all the spot welds in here. Well, luckily for us, Ford has put six bolts exactly where they need to be. Six holes, I mean. So we don't have to drill any holes. That's where your pinch weld brackets are going to go. Well, we're going to do those the very last. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get under there 
<clears throat> very carefully, I'm going to move those into position. And I'm going to bring you with me, so we'll see what's going on in there, okay? So hold on, and okay. here we go. Here are the bolt holes. The bracket's going to come right up. We're going to bolt it right to these bolt holes and 17 millimeter nuts. Then we're going to put the pinch weld bolts through, and right, then guys. we'll be all set. All right, guys, so we got the bracket on. We're going to put on the 17 millimeter bolts, okay? Now, as I told you, you want to be very careful because these brackets are very heavy. All right? You don't want them falling on your head. You're going to hand tighten the bolts. The nice thing about the buckets is it gets it basically where you need it to be. Okay. On. And then we'll get this middle one on right up here. Line it up and tighten it. Wiggle it a little bit, get it to where you need to get it to get it in there. Okay, good. So we're back. Now so we got all the bolts up. We got the 317 millimeter bolts in. And now we're going to put the pinch weld brackets on. These were the pinch weld brackets we were talking about them earlier. They're very easy to go on. We're just going to slide it through. And we're going to feed one side through the pinch weld in the, into the bracket. And then the second side through the pinch weld into the bracket. So they're both sticking out like that. Then what we're going to do is get a washer and one of our locking nuts. And we're going to hand tighten that on. Now remember, everything is just hand tightened at this point. Okay? Same on the other side. Washer. Lock nut. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see what I'm talking about real good. Okay? So here we go. Come on with me. So you can see here the pinch weld bracket is right there. Okay? Here's the pinch weld bracket. Here's the pinch weld bracket. It goes on both sides. Here's the pinch weld bracket, as you can see it, and it goes on both sides, okay? And then on the top there is the 17 millimeter bolt. So let's look at the front one. Here's the front one. Pinch weld bracket, 17 millimeter bolt. Back ones. Pinch weld bracket, 17 millimeter bolts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hand tighten them, get them all nice and tight. So now that we have the pinch brackets on, we're going to tighten everything up. We're going to tighten the pinch brackets first. The reason is, is the pinch brackets will help line up the, the rock rail. Remember the brackets on the top where the 17 millimeter bolts go, they had a oblong hole so that they can move up and down. So by tightening the pinch brackets, you'll get everything exactly where you need it. This process is going to take you probably about 15 minutes, okay? Um, so I'm going to put it all together and then we'll come back and We'll talk about the finished product. All right, guys, the running boards are done. And now you can see the after. Makes such a big difference now. Protects my side. And I don't have to worry about door dings. I don't have to worry about anything. And you can see how nice they came out. Now let me show you how much room you have. There's plenty of room. You can get on no problem now. So you get the best of both worlds. You got rock sliders. And you got side steps. And I really like the look of them. They make the Bronco look so perfect. All right, guys. That's the end of this video. Please subscribe, hit the notification button and the like button, and we'll have more videos coming. Have a nice day.